More than 60,000 people are expected to turn out to the Women's March this holiday weekend. Similar events are planned in cities around the country. As Alex Wagner reports, organizers say they're resisting Trump administration policies and trying to build power. This is what democracy looks like. Millions made history at the first women's marches across the country in 2017. One million rallied in D.C. alone. But this year, Washington organizers are expecting far fewer in attendance, around 10,000. Several factors have seemingly contributed to lower enthusiasm. Weather conditions, a lack of funding, and controversy. Um, I go into a lot of difficult spaces. Women's March co-president Tamika Mallory appeared on The View this week, defending her association with Louis Farrakhan, top minister in the Nation of Islam, an organization designated a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center because of the racist, anti-Semitic, and anti-LGBT rhetoric of its leaders. Mallory posted this photo with Farrakhan on his birthday in 2017, calling him the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Just because you go into a space with someone does not mean that you agree with everything that they say. But let me push back a little bit. Why call him the greatest of all time? I didn't call him the greatest of all time because of his rhetoric. I called him the greatest of all time because of what he's done in black communities. Certain chapters have canceled their plans for this year, citing concern over Mallory's support for Farrakhan and the group's refusal to remove her from its board. Organizer Linda Sarsour. The Women's March and the leadership of the Women's March unequivocally rejects anti-Semitism, transphobia, homophobia, Islamophobia. Sarsour understands the current controversy to be an inescapable part of building a big tent movement. Sometimes we'll have hard conversations, but I believe in our potential as a movement, and I'm not going to turn back on this mission of an intersectional women's movement.